Continuing with our Health Watch for today, there's a center operated by Gesher Human Services designed for individuals with serious mental health diagnoses. There's a brand new facility that's double the size of their original space, giving their organization the ability to help even more in our area. Sandra, you have much more on this. That's right. I'm joined by Paul Blatt from Gesher Human Services. Paul, thank you so much for being here with us this morning. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about this expansion of services for folks. So the Zussman Center, uh, we've been operating it almost 20 years, uh, but we needed more space. And the other one, the facility was okay, but, but the ability to move into a place with windows and bright area uh, really helps to serve the people that we're serving. The, the Zussman Center has two components. Uh, one is a creative expressions area where uh, people with mental illness are able to really get into art education, really express themselves in a meaningful way. And then the other part is our clubhouse. And clubhouse is uh, a way for people to really have value. Um, and so people that attend the clubhouse are members. Um, they are part of the, the checking in and they're the ones making lunches for their friends and checking in on their peers if they're not there. So it really gives purpose to all of our folks. It kind of gives folks, uh, you know, they're rolling up their sleeves and actually kind of getting to work, which yeah. just has, um, you know, so many benefits. Talk to us a little bit about the art space and what kind of uh, things you're gonna have going on there and of course how that's so therapeutic. Yeah, so our creative expressions, we're fortunate to have partners in our community like Matrix Theater and the DSO uh, is a community partner of ours and so all kinds of art in which people are doing. Um, but then our visual arts, we now have the space for our artists to really be able to uh, do whatever media that they're into. We have one of our guys that um, he is into uh, photography and he alters his pictures with the, with the computer amazing work that's coming out of that space. And we know the need in the community is so great. This has been a long time coming in terms of just, um, you know, this expansion. So yeah. how much work and how much time went into creating this space? So it, it has been our, we, we merged two and a half years ago and it was our intention to build out this space. Uh, you know, lots of things get in the way. Mm -hmm, uh, of course. And, and you know, we're, uh, we're fortunate that the community supports this work uh, and is entirely philanthropically funded. So we had to make sure that we had the right funds to be able to make this happen. So it's actually two and a half years plus that we've been preparing to get this space open. Well, we know a lot of work and a lot of, a lot of hard work and a lot of passion went into this. So we're so yeah. glad that it's finally up and running. So tell folks where they can go to get details. Sure. So they can go to GesherMI.org, um, which is our, our, uh, the website for our organization. Um, and they can, they can come and, and they'll be given a tour. Uh, talk about what their needs are, make sure that we're connecting them to the right services. All right, wonderful. Paul, thanks so much for stopping by. We Thank appreciate it. Thank you.